Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Also, we're going to be talking about Crisis a little bit, so this is going to be a little bit of a mashup of the video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so later in this video, we'll be answering some questions that you guys have been sending in, and I've been telling you guys to do that over the last few weeks, as there's obviously not that much news to cover over the summer, so we've been talking about lots of these theories, and we're going to continue to do that, so if you've got some more that you want to be included in some upcoming videos over the next few weeks, please be sure to leave them in the comments. Also, you can tweet them at me on Twitter or on Instagram at the DCTV show. Okay, so what we're going to do... We've got a new teaser for Crisis on Infinite Earths, but also we're going to go over, first off, some tweets from Twitter from David, who works on the set, and I can really not pronounce his name, but I've included him in many of the videos. But he's really helpful, actually, because he posts lots of updates as to how they're developing Season 6 and, you know, heading into the season, like, little teasers that are very nice, and he replies to a lot of comments, so that's really cool. We're going to read some of that first, then we'll go into the Q&A questions after the crisis bit. So first off, reading from David's Twitter, which will be linked in the description below, this is what he says, so, The Flash. Just got out of the 601 concept meeting, and I really enjoyed how the new showrunner ran the meeting. Loved his energy, loved his ideas, and he's given us an overview for the whole season, which is very helpful for us department heads. Great job, Eric. So, I just wanted to include that because that's a really good sign. He's given an overview, so he knows roughly what they want to aim for in the season, so that's a great sign. Also, the 601 concept meeting, that means episode 1, obviously, has happened because they're about to shoot the episode in the next two weeks as they head into early July. So, it's great to hear that they've got you know everything ready and you know they're just waiting for the actors to come in essentially so the next tweet he tweeted out was this wow the first script is off the chain holy shit there is something for everyone and more really sets up the season nicely can't wait to start shooting in july so that's really great so the first script is apparently off the chain so some exciting stuff and it definitely sets up a lot of what's to come as he said in the past tweet so then he went on to actually reply to some of these and I thought it was interesting and I thought I would include it so someone says hope at least this season barrier will be more of a hero and then he replied he sure is so that's exciting obviously I feel like I'm on the other side I felt like there was quite a lot of barrier like I don't think it was mainly about Nora last season so obviously maybe a lot of people feel like you need more of the flash but I didn't have a problem with that, so yeah, that's an answer for you guys. Seems like there will be more of Barry actually, you know, being himself. Okay, so now let's move on to the Crisis on Infinite Earths teaser that was released a couple of days ago. And so this is from Mark Guggenheim, he's working on the crossover. As you know, he sort of stepped back from a lot of the shows recently about a year ago or so. But he still does the crossovers because, you know, he was one of the originals and so that's exciting. But... You see this photo on the screen right here, we have Crisis on Infinite Earths, but the logo is different. It's the same logo, but it's red, so I found that very interesting. What does it mean? Does it mean anything different from what the blue logo actually originally means? So, I'm guessing this is obviously indicative of what's happening in these specific episodes and how dark it's eventually going to get, so I reckon this is just, you know, a teaser, you know, the connotations with red linking to evil is definitely what's going on there and so i'm not sure if they're going to continue to use the blue logo or not but it seems like what they're doing right now is actually inside the writer's room which is where mark will actually be they're you know concepting you know coming up with the script you know getting all the ideas together and bringing it all together you know maybe rereading some of the comics i'm sure loads of them who are working on the crossover have already so you know they're in there drafting up what's going to happen they're like i really like this bit let's bring in prior let's bring in alexander luthor let's bring in all this different stuff let's not do supergirl or the flash dying you know barry okara let's do say superman dying and jay garrick dying that has been some theories so I'm guessing what they're doing right now is doing something like that where they're sort of just putting all the ideas together, chopping it down, being like what will work and what won't work 
in the TV show because obviously they can't do everything and I think they will introduce lots of new characters even if it's just cameos because there's no way you can do Crisis with just the characters we've got already. You need to introduce more people even if it's just for them to die with the Earths actually being destroyed by the Anti-Monitor. So look forward in the very near future maybe at Comic Con for some, you know, maybe some concept art, maybe some posters for Crisis to come very soon where we get the official reveal of say the anti-monitor or maybe just like a proper poster with all our characters on so that should all be coming pretty soon okay so let's move on to talk about some of these Q&A questions so I've got about four here so the first one is do you think the new season 6 suit so talking about the flash will be the one that we saw in season 1's finale with Barry from the future warning normal Barry not to save his mum so, I think that's highly possible because obviously Crisis leads to Barry actually going missing and the Reverse Flash goes missing and what time do we know that Reverse Flash and the Flash come together and they're, you know, in a completely different time after they have this massive battle? That is at night where Nora Allen, Barry's mum, gets killed. So, I think, yeah, they're going to go very, very similar, I think, with the Season 6 suit. We've got the chin strap returning, that version that we saw, who we presume is the original timeline version of The Flash, actually had a chin strap. So, you would presume that it's going to be a bit more similar to that, and maybe that version of The Flash, that original timeline version, gets erased with the changes that have happened recently with this version of Barry going back in time. They have that fight, but he has to let Nora Allen die. So he doesn't create another flashpoint. So yeah, I reckon the season six suit is going to be actually pretty similar to the one we saw in the season one finale. It was brighter. This current suit's brighter. Grant likes this current suit. I reckon they are gonna just make some alterations. But Grant has confirmed, as I said in the other video the other day, that they are bringing back the chin strap. So that will be something that's happening next season, presumably. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So the next question is, do you think the Flash will die or vanish in Crisis? So I think he will vanish and I've answered a similar question recently but I thought I would go over it and sort of clarify because I don't think Barry's gonna die. He's not gonna die. Oliver made the deal with the Monitor. I think Oliver is probably going to die when it comes to it and I think Barry and Kara will be fine. I still have been theorizing that you know they may do a switcheroo and say Jay Garrick and then maybe Superman dies, well, different versions of them, it doesn't have to be the versions we know, but in regards to Barry vanishing, I definitely think he will, maybe it'll be for like two episodes in the crossover and we flash back and forth between Reverse Flash and The Flash, going back in time, fighting it out, and we sort of see the path that led to the season one finale, where we first obviously saw you know what was happening in its full entirety but this will be even longer and then in the meantime you see in the future we have the crisis battle as Barry vanishes still goes on everyone else has to defeat the anti-monitor and the flash is defeating the reverse flash in the past so I think he will vanish but he's not going to be gone forever he's just going to be gone for a few episodes maybe they flash back and forth like I said but I don't think Barry's going to die in crisis so the last question we're going to talk about is this, will we get the Tornadoes wins next season? So this is a great question because we've had this many times over the past few seasons because when Nora first got introduced she was the mystery girl as we called her and we didn't know who she was, we all presumed it was Dawn Allen you know adding up all the scenes together, why was she visiting all these different people and then when we got the teaser last season from the reverse flash in the 100th episode saying your name's dawn right so that obviously meant that in a different version of the timeline barry had a daughter called dawn and probably had a twin son called don allen which obviously is the tornado twins in the comics so the fact that they tease that i think there is a possibility in another version of the timeline or maybe in somewhere else in the multiverse we may get to see the tornado twins and I think Crisis would be a great point because then you would have a different version of Nora actually coming to help save her dad, even if it's not her version of her dad, and it's a different version. It still would be very, very great to actually end off Nora's arc that she obviously failed to do last season because she got erased from the timeline. So 
I think it would be a great idea to bring back, for a, you know, maybe for a few episodes or she continues to stay on. But instead you call her Dawn Allen and you introduce the Tornado Twins. I think that's a great idea. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe. I will be going to Comic Con this very summer. So in July, I'll be there. So if you're there, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp green